Hello YouTube world, Mac Daddy 1911 one here with the Shade Tree Survivalist. You're looking at the uh, newest tool that I've uh, got my hands on, and this was a gift to me from Uncle Fester, the Uncle Fester 13. Y'all don't forget, he's still putting up videos occasionally. Y'all should check him out. Um... I, I was actually going to buy this rifle from him, and it just and uh, just it hadn't been working out money wise lately. Um, too much other crap going on, and he came up for a visit here a couple of weeks ago. Um, we did a few videos, but not nearly as much as we wanted to. Um, just you know, it's been a bad time uh, in his life and my life. We had we did more bullshit than we did anything else. But uh, this is a Mossberg Patriot, I believe is what it's called. And uh, it is a 308 bolt-action rifle in a uh, Boyd's stock system. Um, it has an inexpensive optic on it at this time. I have not even fired this darn thing. Um, fluted barrel. I think that is a 20-inch barrel. I'm not going to swear to it. I do not know for sure. I know it has a four round detachable box magazine, internal magazine, and I have not been able to find any more um, where I live at. You can order them right online, but um, the stock system this thing has is freaking outstanding. There you go. Mossberg Patriot. And caliber 308 Winchester. Uncle Fester got the rifle itself from someone who was going to do some long-range shooting and or, and or hunting or something with it. Um, it's got a fluted barrel and so forth. Let's see if I can get the darn camera to focus on it. Um, it's got a nice recessed crown. It has an aftermarket bolt throw. Very very good trigger um let's see if i can get the magazine out here's a little polymer magazine um i can um i haven't been able to find any locally so i may end up having to to uh, purchase some online or something of that nature but they they work pretty damn good if i can find a freaking hole easy to snap in and out let me get a uh, close-up on the and there you go on you on the butt pad you can see it's a uh, Boyd stock and my damn light I'll throw a shadow on it, but maybe you can see that okay it is uh, very stout feeling it's not too heavy but it's very very stout feeling good looking rifle and you can see the uh, boat, bolt, boat, bolt throw. And it cocks on opening, so it's already reset. And it's got the spiral cut in it, whatever you call that. I don't know exactly. I'm not a bolt guy. But I have actually enjoyed working the bolt on this thing, and it cycles and feeds very well. And he's got some inexpensive uh, soft points. Um, I don't know, FC, I don't know if that's a federal cartridge or not, but, um, anywho, it's got a halfway decent bipod on it, and, um, uh, very nice, very, very nice for such an inexpensive gun, and it's, all right, now that I've got the darn camera to focus on it, so it's similar to a lot of the newer ones they got, but it's a very, very decent trigger, very decent, very light. Yeah, very decent, very lightweight. Let's see if I can um, set the camera up a little better. I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot. There's a touch creep. Boom, man, let's go. So, these, uh, cheap scope caps that are, that are on this cheap thing they get in the way when you cycle on the boat but it works pretty damn good pretty slick 
I haven't fired it yet. We don't know what the accuracy is going to be like, but um, I know this. I can take a dollar bill and push it under the barrel here and slide it with way up into here before there's any it it touches at all. It's free floated. So I imagine this thing's going to be all some. Now you can tell that I did not put this uh, sling on it. Okay, now I've had some uh, nomenclature Nazis rag my ass about my quote unquote strap on old Betsy. Um, Betsy's a 17 pound rifle, okay? And I use it like a sling on a machine gun, a strap on a carrying strap on a freaking machine gun. This should have a real deal um sling the sling is not is this primary purpose is not simply for transport it is to help you stabilize the rifle in offhand shooting and or other sitting standing whatever um to be able to shoot better because it is to help stabilize the daggone weapon not simply to haul it in and out this damn thing doesn't weigh crap compared to old betsy okay and so the rubber neoprene pad that's on there it is going to go bye bye and it will go bye bye very soon because i mean the entire purpose of it uh is to i mean i want a shooting sling not a transport sling so it will be gone bye bye pretty damn quick if i got anything to do with it but yeah uncle fester thank you very much this is a very nice weapon for the money I, I looked online and i saw them and um um but i cannot believe that damn uh, that magazine's 29 dollars if i remember right it's either 24.99 or 29.99 um for the freaking teeny, teeny tiny magazines but yeah i like that pretty damn good we gotta get out of here one day when it if it'll ever stop raining and do some shooting okay I'm old, and I don't want to be uncomfortable and wet and nasty if I can help it. But anywho, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the new Mossberg Patriot in 308. And uh, maybe we'll get out here pretty damn soon and let you guys see what she'll do. Thank you very much for watching. This is Mac Daddy 1911 May1 with the Shade Tree Survivalist with a new rifle that uh, Uncle Fester, the Uncle Fester 13, gave to me as a gift.